Hey there beautiful people, I hope you are doing great. In this video, I will show you how to create this type of beautiful snow effect in Wix Studio. So without further delay, let's get started. And as always, we will use the uh, custom code in Wix Studio. Um, also, I have created two more uh, similar animation uh, effect before this video, so make sure you watch them as well. Okay, so we have the particle effect right here and we have this type of uh, hover animation. So if you wanna add them in your website, you can watch those tutorial as well. Um, going back to the tutorial, we have to use the code, which is right here. I will drop the link in the description. You can uh, easily get this code. So um, you have to use this code and embed it in your section. So let me show you how to do this. Let's add a new section first. And in here, we'll have to add embed in social and embed code. Stretch it like this. If you want to um, showcase this uh, code on your entire section, you can disable the apply maximum width. If you keep it on, it will be extended up to the uh, maximum width right here okay so up to 1600 pixel only so it's totally up to you enter the code and you'll have the snow effect on your website right now it's not visible because the background of the section is white so uh, you can change it to any color you want okay um, let's look at some of the settings you can change in order to uh, change the snow effect, the particles here. The first thing we have is the color, so you can uh, change the color of the particles. So if you wanna add, let's say red particles, we can do that as well. Okay, so now we have the red, but for snow kind of effect, it makes sense to keep the color white. The next setting we have is the opacity so you can change the opacity of the snow particles okay so now they are more faint all right um, we have the border radius and the animation fall which is linear infinite so i'm going to keep it at that um, right after that we have the keyframe so from which point to which point they will go you can decide right here so if i let's say want to um, stop them at some point I can do that as well. So let's go for 50 VH, which is viewport height. So now you only have the snow effect up to half of the section. Okay, so you can easily uh, change the height of the snow effect as well. After that, we have some uh, settings related to the snow flags. So the first thing we have here is the number of uh, the flag here. So you can increase or decrease them. Just write the number here, okay? So I have 300 right now, but I will suggest keeping it uh, from 100 to 200 or 50 to 200, you know, to keep the effect subtle. Then we have the size of the uh, snowflake. So it's a variable number. You can set from one limit to another. So I can set, for example, uh, two to 30, which is a lot, by the way. So you will have all kinds of sizes from two to all the way up to uh, 30. To keep things uh, visually impressive, um, I will suggest keeping it uh, small. And finally, we have the fall duration. So again, this is a variable. There are different speed for different flags um, to make things more natural. So you can uh, change the fall duration. I can set it to, let's say five. Um, and here I can set two. So now you have a faster fall. So it's totally up to you how fast or slow you want this snow to go. 
Uh, rest of the script is related to the functionality. Um, but yeah, you can change all the functions in here, the color, height, and everything. So get the code and uh, paste it in your Wix Studio website, and you will have the uh, snow effect. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.